Top 15 Best Places to Visit in Corsica Corsica offers a diverse choice of attractions, activities, and opportunities to learn about the island's unique style. Corsica, which juts out from the warm seas of the Mediterranean Sea between France and Italy, is famous across Europe for its breathtaking beauty. Corsica is renowned for having a central mountainous region and stunning white sand beaches that are caressed by turquoise waves. From its biggest towns like Bastia to its smallest remote villages like Vitsavona, Corsica has a lot to offer. In this video, we'll look at the top 15 places to visit in Corsica. Number 15. Spelancato Spelancato should be on everyone's list of places to see in Corsica. This is one of the most attractive places in the region, and after around 10 kilometers of driving along winding mountain roads, you'll be rewarded with a breathtaking view of the town. Spelancato is the perfect place for a late afternoon stroll through the narrow streets and a spot on one of the terraces overlooking the central square. Following that, you should surely catch the sunset over town, which will be coated in a golden glow. Number 14. Corte Corsican cities are comparatively simple and plain in comparison to Italian cities such as Florence, Verona, or Venice. There are no extravagant structures or magnificent works of art. However, Corte in particular is well worth a visit. The little hamlet of 6,300 people is located at the center of the island and is known as Corsica's secret capital. Number 13. Urbalunga Urbalunga was originally the most important harbor on the Cap Course, as evidenced by the beautiful mansions that still adorn the peninsula. A modest network of squares and streets exudes an old city harbor ambiance. At Cisco Marina, slightly further north, there are shops, a cash dispenser machine, a post office, pubs and restaurants, and a dive school. Number 12. Saint Florent Saint Florent is nestled in a glittering harbor between the wild mountains of Cap Corse and the majestic untamed desert de Zagriat. The Romans founded it, but it swiftly flourished into a thriving medieval port under Genoa's rule and has remained remarkably untouched. The area in the middle of the town between the harbor and the citadel is filled with a network of tiny streets and alleys, and the town squares, which are lined by cafes, look out over the bustling waterfront with its row of restaurants. It's a welcoming town that, while comparable in style, is less pretentious and more intimate than Saint-Tropez. Number 11. Sant'Antonino Sant'Antonino is one of Corsica's most picturesque settlements in the Balagné region of northeastern Corsica. The village is known as the Eagle's Nest because of its picturesque location clinging to the top of a hill. Sant'Antonino is officially designated as one of France's most beautiful villages. It has a history reaching back to the 9th century and was originally chosen for its natural defenses, making it one of Corsica's oldest communities. Sant'Antonino is a maze of narrow alleyways, steep pathways leading through vaulted passageways and traditional antique dwellings, making it a delight to explore. Number 10. Cap Corse The Cap Corse Peninsula is 40 kilometers long and provides a range of activities. The Genoese Towers are a must-see, and you can catch a tan at the Plage du Lotus Beach. Exploring the coastline is undoubtedly worthwhile, not only for the lovely beaches, but also for the historical landmarks such as the Moulin Mate or Mate Windmill and the Torre de Seneca or Tower of Seneca. Number 9. Aguil du Bavelia The seven aguil or needles of Bavelia form a jagged massif with spectacular views of the surrounding countryside and mountains. They are located in the heart of the Massif de Bavelia. If you don't like longer hikes that last several days, the area has some smaller ones as well. If you're feeling daring, various adventure tours are available, such as canyoning and Solenzara waters. Number 8. Petit Speron Petit Speron is one of Corsica's most gorgeous beaches located 5 kilometers from downtown Bonifacio on the island's southeast coast. The parking lot is a good 15 minutes walk away, so getting there is not easy, but Petit Speron is worth the effort. The beach is approximately 90 meters long and fits into a square-shaped bay. 
The beach has no facilities, only a snack store in the parking lot. If it's too crowded, especially in the summer, you can continue trekking south for another 15 minutes to reach Grand Speron Beach. Number 7. Scandola Nature Reserve Scandola Nature Reserve is a UNESCO Natural World Heritage Site, located 15 meters north of Porto on Corsica's west coast. It has a rugged shoreline consisting of red porphyry, rhyolite, and basalt, and covers over 20 square kilometers, half of which is land and the other half sea. There are daily boat journeys from Calvi and Ajaccio to this gorgeous location. You'll explore the deepest rock cracks, visit hidden beaches, and swim with the fish that reside in this protected area. Number 6. Kalang du Piena Kalang du Piena is a magnificent cliff in the island's northwest. These craggy cliffs are one of the best places to visit in Corsica. They're made of red granite rock and look even better after sunset. The crimson of Kalang du Piena contrasts with the turquoise of the sea, making it an unforgettable destination. There are also numerous hiking routes in the surrounding region. Number 5. Bonifacio Bonifacio is well known for its white limestone cliffs. The village is fortified by a medieval cliff-top fortress and has lovely cobblestone lanes. Bonifacio, Corsica's oldest town, was founded in the 9th century. The old town of Bonifacio is 70 meters above sea level and gives stunning views of the harbor below. If you're at Bonifacio, don't miss the 187-step Escalier du Roy d'Aragon, which is carved into the rock and leads down to the sea. Number 4. Calvi Citadel Walking into Calvi's fortified hotville is always a big occasion. You must pass beneath the imposing walls created by the Republic of Genoa in the late 15th century to fend off the fleets of the Franco-Ottoman alliance. After passing through a tunnel originally guarded by a drawbridge, you're free to wander the cobblestone alleys and climb the ramparts for breathtaking views of the bay. The citadel is a proud icon for Calvi with three bastions, an attractively worn Baroque cathedral and a historic residence and a historic residence previously occupied by Christopher Columbus. Number 3. Plage du Selexia A beautiful bay with sugar-white sand that uncurls for more than a kilometer on the island's north coast is surrounded by dunes covered in dark green juniper plants. The feature that makes it so lovely is also the beach's only disadvantage. Selexia is so secluded that you must be prepared to pay a fee or walk a considerable distance to get there. There is a yacht service from surrounding ports as well as a 4x4 shuttle. However, both will cost you 50 euros or more for a family. Another option is to travel the D81 to Casta and then hike the trail, which can take many hours. Number 2. The Cavu River The river Cavu bubbles between enormous granite boulders in the Valley du saint Martinu, tumbling down little waterfalls and filling sets of lovely pools. If you're vacationing with children, they can spend hours paddling in the waves and scrambling up the stones that provide a natural adventure playground. With black pines along the valley walls, it's an ideal area to spend time with loved ones. Number 1. Ajaccio Napoleon Bonaparte, Corsica's most renowned native son, was born in this busy capital city on the Gulf of Ajaccio. Views of the sea can be seen from a variety of locations across the town. The Place du Gaulle, a large area in the heart of Ajaccio, features an equestrian statue of Napoleon created in 1865 by Violette Le Duc. The Maison Bonaparte, Napoleon's birthplace, houses photographs, souvenirs, family records, and a Napoleon exhibit containing a collection of medallions and coins depicting Napoleon at the Palais Fesch. The ancient charm of Adaxio's old town is well worth seeing, with its maze of twisting small alleyways. The 16th century Cathedral de Jaxio where Napoleon was baptized in 1771, is a must-see. The picture, La Vierge au Sacré-Cœur, by Eugène Delacroix, is the cathedral's most notable work of art. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Do smash that like button and tap the subscribe button to keep watching more helpful travel guides. 
See you in our next video.